Hey everybody, I'm back at python.org downloads because I wanted to go over a couple little things about the two versions of Python that are out there. So as you can see here, we have Python 3.5.2 and we have Python 2.712. Now effectively, Nerds will call this version 3x, meaning branch 3x. X meaning it could be 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, whatever. And then you get a 2x branch, it could be 2.1, 2.2, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So what's the difference? Well, the three branch at this point is 3.5.2 is the most advanced branch, the most recent branch, and it is the branch that you should be working with. And that's why this course is working with the 3x branch because all the latest developments in Python, all the new developments in Python are going to be in the 3x branch. The 2x branch is just kept around for people who may have some old apps written in the 2x version of Python. And there are incompatibilities. So Python 2x is not exactly the same as Python 3x. So sometimes if you take a Python app that was written in 2x, well, it could be 2.5, 2.7, 2.6, whatever. A lot of times they won't work in Python 3. There are some fundamental differences between the 3x of Python versus the 2x. So there you go. The people who look after Python, they keep Python 2.7 tip top. They don't add anything new but they do bug fixes and stuff like that. So you're not going to see anything new with Python 2.7. That's it. It stops at 2x. It's not going anywhere. Whereas Python 3, you get all the new stuff. So of course, you're working with Python, you're going to work with new Python. So I just said that, so we'll stop there. So when we started this course, we installed Python 3 on your machine, whether it be Mac or PC, and we're doing our work on the 3.5.2 version. That being said, I want to show you a couple of things in Terminal in Mac. So I've launched my Terminal in Mac. And the reason I'm, I've launched Terminal in Mac is because Mac comes with Python 2.7 built in. So that's kind of cool. So here is the Terminal profile window. Now, don't worry, you don't have to have Mac to follow along. I am just want to show you a couple of quick things. So I'm going to launch uh, the Terminal window. I use the uh, the grass. No, you know what? I don't like the grass. There we go. I'm going to use this one here. So let me just make the text bigger. So this is something called Bash. This is basically the uh, text interface, the way you can talk to the Mac OS directly. So I'm going to type in Python dash dash version. And what this is going to do is I'm basically asking Mac, what version of Python do you have installed? So I hit enter and the default version, as, as you can see, is 2.7.1. So that's the default version. So if I want to go into the default version of Python, I would just inside of max bash window, you see bash here. Don't worry, if you're using Windows, there's a point to this. Don't worry about it. So I'm just going to go into Python. So you see I've launched Python and I'm in Python 2.7.10. That's cool. Now we can start writing Python commands. So I can say name equals, that's a variable. If you don't know what that is, don't worry. Check it out in the course. So I got name. So now I can say print, which is a command in Python. I say print the name. Notice I just write print and name, and it prints out the name, Stefan. I can also just print some text. I go print. I'm going to say print Stefan is a nerd, and Stefan is a nerd. So there we go. Python 2.7.10. Notice the print command, print name, etc., etc., etc. So now I'm going to exit out of this. See, I'm outside of Python now. So what I want to do is I want to go into Python 3. If you remember at the beginning of the video, at the beginning of the course, rather, I installed Python 3. So I'm going to just type in the command Python 3. And this tells Mac OS within this window here to start using Python 3.5.2. Now you might be using Python 3.6, 3.7, who knows? This Python is a June 2016 Python. So anyway, so we're gonna go back here. I'm gonna type in, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna create that variable equals name. I'm gonna say Stefan. So it's in there. Now watch, if I, watch what I do. I'm gonna do just like what we did with Python 2.7, print name, watch what happens. Boom, I get an error. So I tried that and it says file error on line one. This is line one. 
and it shows me where the error was. Little arrow points up here, so it's at the end. So it says syntax error, meaning error in my code, missing parentheses in the call to print. Call to print, what do you mean by that? Well, I was using the print command built into Python, and I was calling it. If you recall, when you use a command, when you use a function in Python and other programming languages, nerds will say you're calling that function, just like you're ordering a pizza. You're calling a pizza guy to bring you a pizza. In the case of Python, you're calling Python, say, print out whatever's in the name variable. So that doesn't work, so let's try and do it properly in Python 3 style. So I'm going to pr print. It doesn't have to be, a, it could be a space, I'll pay a space. And I'm going to say, whoop. Let me try that again. Uh, print parentheses and I say print me that name variable. Boom, it works. Same thing with text. Print, you got to use parentheses. Boom, Stefan. Yeah. Mm. Stefan eats pizza. Not as much as I used to. That's why I've lost a lot of weight. If you want to lose weight, it all comes down to how you eat more than anything else. Print pizza, it works. So there you go. There is the difference between, well, it's one of the differences, between Python 7, 2.7 rather, and 3.5, or more importantly, it's the 2x branch of Python versus the 3x branch of Python, whether it be 2.6, 2.7, 2.8, pretty much the same, and whether it be 3.1, 3.2, 3.3, etc., pretty much the same. When you see 0 0.2, 0 0.5, or whatever, after the main branch, it's usually just bug fixes, minor changes. But there is definitely a big difference between Python 3 and Python 2. You will find old apps out there that are still written in Python 2. That's why I wanted you to be aware of that. Although all your new apps should be in Python 3, so you can take advantage of all the latest and greatest features of Python 3. Because remember, with Python 2, they maintain it, meaning they correct any little bugs that pop up, but they're not making any additions to it or updating it. So keep that in mind.